Hello, fanatics. Rob Gray sitting in the B team in, the, in this side, not on this side with well, maybe uh, Tim Sitzman. I'm the B team too, right? I don't know. We're, without Chris, I get a little nervous. You it's, know, it's, with the B team only on. in name is Mr. B's. The <laughs> A team in yeah, terms the, of clothing absolutely. attire. Absolutely. Let's use that B, huh? <laughs> exactly. Sounds good. Um, here we are, though. 1995 Northwest 86th in beautiful, beautiful, beautiful downtown Clive, Iowa. Indeed, and a beautiful store. It's fine. And thank Italian. you. Thank I mean, you. Beautiful yeah. stuff. A lot, a lot of remodeling over the last hundred days. We were talking before we got started today that we've done a lot of remodeling, and we'd like to invite the fanatics to come in and take a look at what we're doing. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of you come in and say, "Hey, I want to meet Tim," and please come in and ask for me. And you know, the other guys, Mac, Mike, uh, Andy, John, they're all key players. Been here a long time, and uh, we'd love to help you all. We, uh, we've find ourselves with a lot of guys that have been true pros in the business. So come in and see us at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive, Iowa. Beautiful Clive, Iowa. Downtown. Right Clive downtown. Well. You can't miss us. And uh, so we, we've seen, it's beautiful, you mentioned the renovation. Right. Uh, Adam's been in here, seen kind of before and after Adam. Gray, Adam, yes, he has. We've seen Adam a lot. But, uh, you know, a lot of things are going, and, I, you know, I should be paying attention to what's going on in the sporting world, and, and uh, this is a big week, isn't it, Rob? It is. It's hard not wow. to pay attention, obviously, when it's Iowa, Iowa State Week. It's all over, everywhere in front of you. What do you see? What I, you, do you know, see going I'd, down I'd like names? to tell all the fanatics that I've been just on the edge of my seat, but I've been on the edge of my seat getting this store ready. Next uh, week we have our grand reopening, so I've been kind of caught up with it. We've been doing our picks, Chris and I, and I, I, I actually – picked uh, Iowa to beat Iowa State with a field goal because I thought it was in a game probably important for both programs. Mm -hmm. But truly, truly, uh, for Ference to keep his job, probably with the Iowa fans, this is a big game. He, we, you know, the Iowa State uh, uh, coaching staff from McCarney to uh, 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 what's going on today, you know, with Coach Rhodes, it, they got their number. And, and it's just, it's been good. I mean, it's been good for for Iowa State and the fans. And uh, it's going to be, it, if you look at the last five games, we all look at them, and it yeah. gets down to the last few minutes. It's just, it's fun series. It's they've, real, been, they've been great it's games. It's a coin toss. Yeah. The Cyclones won three of the last four, but the last game played in Ames, the Hawkeyes were up 27-7. So. Right. As we reviewed from Chris and I, I think Chris had uh, the, the Clones being 3-0 and after the Toledo game next week, and I had them 2-1 uh, winning on the road at Toledo. But uh, Toledo will be a tough game also for the Cyclones. I mean, they're, they're, Toledo's a good team. No question. On, on, and on Saturday, uh, do you see any play? I mean, uh, do, you, do, you, do you see a position group maybe that might emerge in, out of this one? As you know, I, 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 look at, I looked at the, the game down to defense, offense, and if, if I was able to run the ball, I think Iowa State's going to have a hard time. If the defense comes up and plays as hard as I think they are capable of, uh, I didn't get a chance to see a whole lot of the, the UNI game, uh, but I understand the defense was just okay. It was just okay. They shut them out in the second half. But if you look at the stats, they were about even on the statistics, the yardage and everything. Time of possession actually went to UNI. Uh, if they let Iowa run the ball, I think it's, it's going to be Iowa's game. If they can stop the, the run. And, you know, I talked to a, a, a Fanatic fan just the other night, and he said it's turnovers. The, the, the team that makes the most turnovers is going to lose the game. And that's probably what's happened in the past few games. Yeah, turnovers yeah. is a big part of the game. Yeah, a lot of times. Uh, traditionally, last year, one of Iowa State's best rushing defense performances was against Iowa. Right. They could pull out the field goal win. And like you said, these last several games have gone down to the last minute. So should be another great one here in Ames. Well, I, I feel like uh, Iowa State, as you know, has, is loaded with receivers, and uh, Lazard from uh, Des Moines here, a local young man, is doing a terrific job, and uh, the quarterback position is good. I think it, it's going to boil down the two defenses. Who's, yeah. who's going to rise to the occasion? Who's going to get that key fumble, the key interception? And uh, I really think it's a three to seven point game. Either way, it, you just got to pick somebody. That's the way the horse race works. You got to pick a horse. And, uh, you know, I, I looked at the schedule, and I think it's important for both programs. This is an important game. It always seems like I wish this game was at the end of the season mm -hmm. it's that, uh, rather than the beginning. I think we'd have different seasons. But uh, it's a good thing for the state. And, uh, you know, uh, I'm one of those fans that likes all the teams in the state. And I, I, interstate games are great, but I kind of root for all of them. So you and I and Drake and all of them, that's kind of a I, – I guess being in the clothing business, you've got to have, have that a little neutra, neutrality. Indeed. Yes. Even any fan of any other Big 12 Absolutely. team or anybody else. Yeah. Uh, Cole Netton, the hero in this game last year with the uh, – right. Field goal in the closing seconds. Uh, 
you, you're calling a field goal this time. So I, I guess I, it's... I really think it's down to a field goal or that last minute score, whether it's a touchdown or a field goal, it's going to change the game. The outcome of the game is going to be in the fourth quarter. No question about it. Okay. Well, we will see Saturday, 345, Jack Christ Stadium. Uh, stop in and Mr. B's, uh, the B team and name only. I just coined that. I like I, that. I really like the B team. You know, we're, we're the A team in Mr. B, so we're the B team here, right? But, uh, no, I stop in at 1995 Northwest 86th Street in Clive. Our number is 515-276-8589. Ask for Tim, Mac, John, or Andy, the key players, our professional team. And I, I go Cyclones. I hope it's a good day for you. Absolutely. Pleasure meeting you, Tim. Nice to meet you. Nice to have you. And, uh, Chris, you, you're, you're going to lose your job. These guys are good. I appreciate that. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.